Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. You're gonna be putting up with this dog barking all the time. Got a beer. This is a new one to me. It's a new one to me because I've never seen, the, seen it before. Um, but there's reviews from a year ago of this beer. Um, <clears throat> Chihuahua. Limon Cerveza. Lager brewed with lime and salt. The original Mexican-American lager. Product of the USA. <clears throat> it's a 5.5% 5, 5 um, ABV. Um, Chihuahua Brewing Company, Lakeland, Florida. This will be interesting. Um, they were a little pricey. They were like nine seventy-eight for a six-pack, and I got the three different kinds. There was a a green, a black, and was it a white? <clears throat> three different kinds. Um, I got them all because. I, I don't see different Mexican beers around here um, at all. This is, this is new to me, so I, I take advantage of it. And plus I can use some of them in a, you know, michelada or, or you know. <clears throat> I don't know anything about these. I didn't watch the other reviews of these. I haven't read up on it or anything. Um, so I don't know, you know, what the adjunct is or anything like that. <clears throat> so barely a head there. It has a nice lager look. It's a lightly cloudy, kind of gives the impression, you know, salt and lime in it, you know. Um, but yeah, got some carbonation coming up in there. Oh man, it smells good. Mm, has a nice, has a, has a, a lime aroma. Oh gosh, you triggered a yawn. It gives off the aroma of salt in there. I don't know. I can kind of tell. I mean, I don't know if it's if it's a um, a basic thing that anybody can smell, but I can kind of tell when there's salt in a beer. Um, it just puts off that aroma. So there you go. Let's see what this thing's like. Um, it almost kind of reminds me a little bit like of a like a shandy or something. All right, let's try it. Oh, wow. Man, that is good. I really like that. How did that, a little hair get in my beard? Man, that's good. Um. You get you know, you get the, the lime, you get the salt, um, you get the the uh, the lager. It's a nice, smooth, crisp, you know, lager. Um, light carbonation, medium body, light the medium body. Um, Man, th th these right here would be good spring and summer. They just give like they just give off a refreshing kind of characteristic about them. Um, this might be one that I might buy regularly. They keep it around. I'm not really fond of that price though. 
I guess it's kind of, I think Cor Corona is like close to that for a six pack. That may be pretty basic, but when you're buying three of them, it's a little expensive. I went and got my, uh, my second vaccine today. So I'll uh, give it, you know, a couple days, two or three days to let it let it sink in and take effect. And then I shall start my quest back to, to my liquor stores, to my convenience stores. I've, I've literally avoided all those places all this time. Just not taking any chances, you know? Um, but now I'm, I'm ready. I'm just, I mean, I'm still going to wear my mask and be careful. You know, my wife hasn't got her vaccines yet. Jeremy's got his first one. He's getting his second one here fairly soon. So, um, but yeah, I'm still going to be careful because they don't know enough about the, about the, the uh, virus to know whether or not you can get, you can have it. It won't affect you, but you don't know whether or not you can pass it on to anybody yet. So I'm still going to be careful. I'm going to wear my mask. And uh, I mean, just out of consideration in public places. They don't know that you've been vaccinated. So, excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. Man, it's so drinkable. Damn. Wow, I like that. I like that. It's like, you know, when I have Mexican beers, a lot of times I'll put salt and lime in them. <clears throat> this is, you already got it. Yeah, you've already, it's already there. So... Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. Chihuahua cerveza. Shut up. Let me know if you got to try this yet. I mean, this was at my gro a grocery store that that we occasionally shop at we try not to go there because it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a nasty grocery store didn't used to be but it is now but uh, so we try not to go there but we had to get some stuff um so we went there and i saw these i'm like what is that you know they're they're in a little boxes they were right there in the little refrigerated area. Boom, boom, boom. All three kinds. And I'm like looking for the price. I don't see the price. And one of the store managers come by and says, are you looking for how much they are? I said, yes, sir. He says, they have an end cap of them over there. I didn't even see that. Um, so they're 9.78. I said, okay, thank you. I said, but I grabbed them anyway. I said, I'm getting these things. So I got them. I said, these would be some good reviews. I say that. That's up to you guys. <laughs> They'd be fun for reviews for me to do. Yeah, I need to look up and find out what the, uh, the adjunct is that they're using in these. It'd be cool, you know, if, you know, the adjunct information is such a, a widely sought out type of a, um, a review character that people use a lot of times. And I think it'd be, I mean, how much ink would, would that take to put it on, put it on the cans or the bottles? Adjunct corn, adjunct rice, adjunct, you know whatever 
I think it'd be an interesting additive to a beer, you know, to a beer can or bottle myself. But, okay, well, I'm gonna end it here. I'm just kind of chattering, I'm tired. Um, I could just sit here and just zombie out and you guys could just watch me. Okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.